is Dr. Kirtana N, Assistant Professor, Department of Dravya Guna, SDM College of Ayurveda and Hospital, Hassan, wishing all the women a happy International Women's Day, which is celebrated on March 8th globally to appreciate and celebrate the women achievements in various fields like social, economical, political and cultural etc. Every year this Women's Day celebrated one new theme. This year it is celebrated with the theme Gender Equality Today for the Sustainable Tomorrow where they want to highlight the involvement and achievement of the women in the promotion of climatic change adaptation as well as mitigation for the sustainable future. So here climate change is nothing but a global warming which is occurring due to the pollution. When we see the measures to mitigate and adapt to the climate change, cultivation of the plants is the common and major step among them. And when we see other steps like decreasing the fuel consumption, increasing the electricity, bicycle like that, cultivation of the medicinal plants is the major step and common step. So being an Ayurvedic person as well as woman, I would like to suggest to cultivate the medicinal plants. As the cultivation of medicinal plants is very much needed for the preparation of Ayurvedic medicines too. This cultivation of medicinal plants can be done at various level like home, educational institute, school, college, village, district level in various scales. So today I will be telling about the cultivation of medicinal plants at home with ease. So first I would like to start with the holy basil that is the tulasi. Its leaves extracts are very much useful in the respiratory disorders, fever and it is well known antimicrobial property. And next we can grow adusoge which is very good for respiratory disorders as well as bleeding disorder. We can also grow vandelaga where there is a much of water source. It is very good brain tonic as well as it is calming to the mind and it is a pittahara property also. As Amruta well known immunomodulator, its usefulness in corona as well as joint disorder. It is also a brain tonic where the patrasvarasa is used as a brain tonic. Next we can grow tumbe as well as aloe vera that is the kumari we can grow. Whereas tumbe leaf extracts are very useful in the liver as well as the antimicrobial property and intermittent fever. Whereas aloe vera apart from its uses in the hair and skin, it is also very much useful in the liver problem as well as menstrual disorders. Next we can grow dalimbe or madifala where its swarasa or the fruit or it can be used in the cooking which is very good for heart. We can also grow shunti where its rhizome fruit uh, swarasa is used in simple anorexia to indigestion to constipation as well as it is very much useful in the IBS when we give it along with the buttermilk. Later we can also grow halavu makkala beru or well known as the shatavari where it is a best women tonic balancing the hormone as the most of the women's health is ruled by the majorly hormones. And we can also grow asti shrunkala that is the mangaraballi where it is used as a chutney as well as in the cooking recipes. It is a very rich source of calcium and we can also grow in an open field uh, when we are having rose and japa that is japa is nothing but dasavala. Dasavala apart from its hair tonic property it is a very good for women problems where it will be used as a batter in other cooking recipes and the rose can be used for cosmetic purpose. These plants can be grown in the pots as well as little open place. And if you want to make a boundary or a border for your home or front yard or bracket garden, you can also grow Hole Lucky or Lucky Sopu and Aralu Gida or you can also grow Neem whereas Hole Lucky and Aralu leaves can be used as a fermentation for the pain relieving and Neem is a cooling effect as well as it is having antimicrobial property and it is good for the skin. So likewise we can plan out uh, according to the necessity and the region. So for further details of plant and cultivation and its medicinal uses you can contact Ayurveda Dravaguna expert. For cultivation and plant information you can contact botany, agriculture, horticulture expert also. So I appeal all the women to participate in the cultivation of medicinal plants where you will achieve the health for yourself and for your family and if you want to grow it in a large scale you will be getting the subsidy from the National Medicinal Plants Board which will also give you economical support. Along with this you will be promoting the Indian system of medicine Ayurveda and as well as preserving the ecosystem biodiversity thereby you are helping in the mitigation as well as adapting to the climatic change. Thank you.